Hello everyone. So I'm back after a year. Um, no, I'm lying. After I would say three years of doing a video, and I decided to do a get ready with me. So you guys are gonna get a life update while I'm getting ready. So the last time I made a video, um, I was in my apartment, I was just married, um, I believe it was 2019 that I last uploaded a video, and um, I decided, you know what, let me get back to it because, you know, why not? So I do have to make them the time for it because I'm so comfortable with not sharing um, my life, but I've had a few people tell me, I love watching your videos, and then a bunch of my church family, they also really love watching my videos, which is funny to me, but um, here I am. Um, I've been married for four years already and um, the last time I filmed we were living in my apartment our first apartment together and then I got pregnant then we were looking for a house and we really wanted a newly built home but um, at the time we had to wait the demand for building new houses was really high we had to wait we didn't want to wait so we found a another house and um not newly built but it is um honestly it's from god because it happened really fast when we found this house and we got it at the best interest rate i believe it was three percent interest rate and right now it's like around six or seven so thank you lord and it's gonna be two years in october so we've been living in our home let me do my eyebrows all right <clears throat> eyebrows are on i really didn't do much to them but make them darker um i've seen a lot of people using like the eyebrow gel and i feel like after being a mom i stopped caring about um makeup and all that but i'm trying to get back to it so bear with me oh you see this i only do one do my left hand because i write with my right hand and i don't have the time to sit here for two more hours and do this hand not gonna happen okay i replayed it and I left off at us living here, moving here in October. I was pregnant and then, um, it was the, um, the last day of October. So we moved on Halloween. And then, um, let me go with music. All right, da, 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 da. Then a month and a week later, I had Luca, I had my baby which he was supposed to be born in January. He was born in November. I told this man I'm gonna do a video and he's playing music in the back. Okay, hopefully I don't have no more interruptions. Okay, but I'm, um, okay, what was this again? Okay, so my sister called me just now. She interrupted. Then my husband put on full blast music while he's playing the guitar, singing with Luca. It's cute, but I'm trying to do this video. Anyway, back to my story. Luca was born. Da, 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 da. He was born premature. Um, and it was stressful because during that time, my grandmother passed away and um she passed away about almost three days later it was like two and a half days later and um 
I miss her so much. I think about her every day. Me and my sisters talk about her a lot. Uh, and we always bring her up too, and my mom too. Um, it's like you will never fully recover missing someone you truly love, but knowing that they're in a better place, no longer suffering, is what's giving us peace. You know, and that's why I am very grateful that I know the Lord and I have a relationship with God. Because when you don't have those things, it's kind of, it's, there's like this void. You're, it's easier to get depressed, fall into depression and all that. But, um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm thankful to the Lord that I did not fall into postpartum depression which it was super easy uh, to fall into. It's easy for me to fall into that, but I rebuke that and I don't speak that over my life. Um, I'm thankful to the Lord that my baby was a healthy baby and I had a natural birth. Um, I, now I'm a stay at home mother and I absolutely love seeing my child grow and have his little personality. He's going to be two. Oh my goodness. And I'm not sure if I want to do a birthday party because there's people that say, oh, but you're going to have the memories. Da, 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 da. But it's a lot of work planning for a, um, a birthday party. And sorry about the lighting. Um, it's not the best lighting, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, another thing is ministry. You guys know, um, I believe it's 2019. That's when I um, was working on music. And um, it was absolutely one of the best experiences ever. The year 2019 was an absolute amazing year for me. Um, I feel like that's when, um, where's my makeup brush, hold on. My husband's playing this music in the back and it's like distracting me because I just want to sing it. I want to sing along and I want to stop talking and just sing along well worship along because it's worship music and it's in Portuguese and it sounds so beautiful um I just ooh, I raised my leg I just love to worship and I love to sing and about that in 2019 that's when I came out with my music and I was able to tour do a little tour it was in jersey and honestly it was a beautiful experience um i even got invited here in florida and tampa however i feel like i am too shy you guys i'm shy when it comes to talking in front of people i am extremely shy i feel like I'm nothing like my husband when it comes to talking in front of people. So that's why I'm doing this video also. So that I can loosen up. And my sisters tell me that, well, my oldest sister. Oldest sister. She's going to be watching this. And she's going to tell me, ah, you, you better not tell them my age. But just know that she's my oldest sister. Anyways, my oldest sister, she always tells me that... I play around too much when I'm like talking in front of people and honestly I'm not playing around too much yes I may sound sarcastic but I'm not playing I'm serious it's just the way it comes out I guess I don't know apparently it's hard so maybe deep down in my mind that's what I'm thinking about when I'm in front of people and when I hear myself I just want to be like Bleh. I sound like that I sound so hood <laughs> let me stop <laughs> but yeah I really 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 love to sing for the Lord um 
I want to get better. There's always um, room for improvement. I'm doing something on my eyes that I really don't want to do today, but I'm talking, I'm yapping and yapping and yapping and it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> I just need to loosen up, you know? And I do feel like I don't need to be preaching in front of a, a church. It's nice, and but there's other ways that you can preach the word of God and it's by living the right way. And um, while I'm doing nails, I use my platform to, you know, um, show others the love of God and um i've experienced people like literally crying and it's because i know that they're feeling the presence of god and they're like opening up and you know that's my opportunity to um spread the gospel and i always have my christian music on and there's power and healing in what you listen to so i'm always putting my church music on knowing that they're going to receive um a word from the lord somehow maybe i don't bring them up i'm not being awkward um but i have my music in the back and nowadays i feel like there's just so much messy dirty music that people are feeling their minds with and it, it can trick your mind it can trick your heart so um yeah i use my platform and doing nails oh yeah that's another thing i moved to this house pregnant knowing that i was gonna be a stay-at-home mother and i wanted to make an extra income while i'm at home so now i'm a licensed nail tech and I'm, I'm getting better. I'm pretty confident in what I do. In the beginning, I was not confident at all. But that's how you learn. You get out of your comfort zone and you do what you gotta do. Get better. Keep practicing, get better in anything. And that's what I did with nails. Um, I was pregnant when I went to school nail school i do have my degree let's get that clear i do have my degree i'm just doing a little contouring right now i honestly should have went to school for like um for cosmetology because oh my god people ask me if i do um eyebrows you know i'm like no but that would be pretty awesome if i did I should have went to school for cosmetology. I don't know what I was thinking. I went to school for nursing. Like, that is not my calling, first of all. I'll pray over you, but being a nurse, and like, yeah. I'm not gonna say any details, but that's just not for me. Oh, and let's talk about the pressures of having another baby. Like, the first pressure was not too bad. It was like, well, we're enjoying marriage and um, we're traveling, we're doing a couple things, you know. And then there was just this one day we're like, you know what, let's just get it over with. Let's have our, let's start um, trying to get pregnant. Okay. It took us about three months to get pregnant because I was on birth control. Um, but when we find out, found out that we were pregnant, um, I, I didn't get to record my husband's reaction. And then I got my sister's reactions, but I have no idea where th those videos are at. Like, I keep trying to look for them, and I have no idea. But it was so beautiful. My husband, his face was pale. It, but he was so like emotional and it was beautiful and then the way I told my parents I told them in front of the church in the back of the church and 
already there was a few people that kind of said it that I'm pregnant um they're like oh you must be pregnant because bro I would eat we would go out to like BJ's restaurant and my little sister she would like order some fries and I'm like dang those fries look so good and then I eat one I'm like mmm and I never react like that when I'm eating <laughs> one of the guys from my church said you must be pregnant you must be pregnant and they didn't i don't know if my husband told them that we were trying to get pregnant but um they called it <laughs> find out that i'm pregnant i was two months pregnant so my pregnancy went by super fast super fast now that i have the experience of having one and then thinking about going through that again like i was sleepwalking i was sleep a walking there was one night that um i guess i thought i fed luca and he's he's like he's like whining he's not crying luca was an amazing baby he didn't cry like ah, ah. he just went eh, mm, mm. you know like he did like little whines and then my husband's like he wakes up he's like babe you fed the baby He's telling me what's what's going on. So he told me what's going on, so I'm sure. And then he says that I go, yes, I did. And I'm rocking the baby, I'm rocking the baby. Like, I'm just, I'm holding the baby, but like, I guess I'm like this. And then he's like, he asked me again, did you change his diaper? And then I said, yeah. And then I guess I'm not making sense to him with his questions that he's like bae wait what did he say he he like rose his his um voice and said bae did you feed the baby like he raised um he mm -hmm. said that he rose his own um, voice and that's when i woke up <laughs> and i said well I, I don't know i don't know did i <laughs> so mothers um new new mothers or like mothers with a newborn if you're not sleeping well um get someone to let you sleep for a few hours because i was that type that i'm not gonna bother anyone this is my responsibility blah 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 but um you need to watch yourself like i was sleepwalking it happened a few times and um, but of course I wasn't sleeping at all. Luca was preemie, so um we were on top of his feedings and um we would switch, me and my husband would switch, but it wasn't like when he was up feeding the baby, I was also up because I'm like it's my baby, you know. Like I was just so happy to have Luca. That's a little bit of what was going on. Um, but it is it is hard being a a parent and you need a lot of patience if you don't have a lot of patience, if you don't if you're not a tender loving kind of person, then you shouldn't even be thinking about having children. Like I'm, I'm serious. Oh my god. I got another story out of all my stories that I mentioned. I started um, a job at a daycare so I can be with my baby and also make an income. I left on the second day, on the third day, on the third day I left because I was in a two year old class and all I saw was my baby's face on all them kids first of all. Second of all, these kids are so like, they need full attention um, and I saw my baby in the other room and he was just whining and whining and the teacher can't give him her full undivided attention because there's a bunch of other kids in there and I can just tell that my baby was better off with me at home I was crying like crazy I was like 
why the heck am I putting myself through this? <laughs> I called my husband and I said, babe, I'm gonna leave. Oh, I see Luca crying in the other room. And there was a few minor things that was happening in the daycare in his classroom that I was just like, nope, I'm leaving. My baby comes first. And I understand that there's all mothers out there that need to leave their kid there just because maybe they, that's their, their break. Or, um, or because the music is loud, man. Or because they have to go back to work and all that. I understand, I completely understand that, but uh, yeah, I put myself through, through it. I shouldn't have, I'm like, nope, I'm going back home. But yeah, and that's another thing. If I decide to have another kid, um, I need extra help, extra eyes on my children. Like, I don't know how other people do it. I know other people got their, um, their mothers, their mother-in-law right there. I don't. Um, I have my husband. It's me and my husband all the time. And I, that's one thing I absolutely love too. Not gonna lie, because it has made us stronger together. Um, and I could, like, I can rely on my husband for anything. And I'm, I'm super grateful for him. Like, he's been an amazing father, amazing husband. So, ladies, when you want a faithful man that loves the Lord, you better pray. Because when they love the Lord, they're going to love you too. And, yeah. If y'all didn't know, I met my husband in camp. Look, another story. I think I'm all over the place blabbering. I met my husband in camp, so maybe you'll find your future husband in camp. In youth camp. In the Christian youth camp. And he traveled. Um, he would travel once a month on the weekend just to see me. Just to see this girl right here. Um, I don't know why I put so much highlighter on. That was so unnecessary. But yeah. He knew I was the one for him before I knew. <laughs> and when I tell y'all, I did not like my husband whatsoever when I didn't know him. When I didn't know him. But now, well, after I got to know him, and the night that I was going to tell him that I was ending things, I prayed. I said, Lord, if he's not the one, take him away. But if he is changed my heart changed the way I see him and um the next day I saw him in in on the in the altar it was <laughs> it was probably my emotions but he's always been like involved in the music and all that but this time I'm like this is weird I'm looking at him different and then we were talking and we were walking and I'm like I'm like bro like Yo, this is for real. Like I started, I started to like have an emotional connection to him, and um, I started to pray to God, like, "Wow, you really listened to me," because I was so serious. When it comes to a relationship and your future, you need to pray over it. Anything in your life, you need to pray over it. So that's what I was doing, and. Uh, the Lord blessed me with a Cuban. I love him. I love his family. My family and his family get along. So, yeah. Prayer in a relationship, all throughout your relationship, every stage, um, is important. So, yeah. That's, that's me preaching through the media. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a thought before i forget to sing it um i really want my husband to be part of my videos but he just is not a, like 
He can hold the camera, but he's not going to be in front of the camera, you know? I'm using Maybelline Colossal Waterproof because it is Sunday. We're going to get our parades on and Sis plays the drums and I be like in the presence of the Lord while I'm playing the drums and I'm sweating and I'm crying. I get it from my mama. I have to include that in there just in case she watches my video. But yeah, you guys, I want to start making these little vlogs, maybe nail vlogs, maybe family little getaways, um, a day in my life, stuff like that. The only thing is, I got zero motivation to do it during the week because I'm just tired and... I have Luca with me 24-7 and to do a video with him, I don't know. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I gotta get it out of my shell. I gotta get it out of my shell. But yeah, look at my nails. I'm gonna do them again. They're going out and I cut them. I didn't reshape them. But I'm gonna cut them short and I'm thinking maybe do a square. Um, a short square. I love all my nails, don't get me wrong, but I also love square nails, like they look so good. Oh, and shout out to Mimi, she gave me this palette, and I love it. Love you, Mimi, love you, girl. Now, I'm gonna do my hair. My makeup is done, where's my setting spray? I'll be back, okay, I'll be back. Well, thank you all for watching. This is the final look. I have a black skirt on and I got some chunk lag on because I'm not going to church in heels anymore unless it's a special occasion and I'm singing devotional. Those are the only two times or few times that you'll catch me wearing heels because I have a toddler to chase around. But yeah, here's the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to me blab about my life. Until the next. Next. Thank you. Next. Period. Maybe let's do that again. Watch it, y'all. Now you don't see. Mom is ready for church. Milk. Give the baby milk. Milk. Send it okay. It's a few hours in there. Mm. The worship. You wanna change his diaper? He's pooped. I gotta go back to. Early. <laughs>